YouTube, it's your boy Beam, and today we got a banger, we got something legendary, we got a special guest, and that's my boy 360Gs, somebody that's dropped jewels off of everybody and how to get these waves, somebody that's shape-shifted my mind in terms of barber haircuts versus wave haircuts, somebody who been waving and wolfing completely crazy, four months into the Wolf Jeezy, four months into the Wolf Jeezy, four months into the Wolf Jeezy. This is how you bless me. This is how we bless the supporters. The amount of pressure that's in the air level of symmetry that's never been displayed before. This is my blessing to the game. So without further ado, y'all know what time it is. Hashtag TBT is the beam team. Let's get this money strap in and let's get Listen, y'all y'all heard it here first, alright? Get beans, cutting my hair. It's going down. Even though it's not hot, but that's only 
considered a high taper because that's that that's when you look at it as a bar bazaar but a wave bazaar is completely different and this is just minor jewels for anybody or any upcoming barber out there that don't understand the difference between bar bazaar and wave bazaar so bar bazaar you basically can give off a good haircut and push a taper high and it still look amazing and it be considered good because that's the bar bazaar but to a waver they want to protect them waves as much as possible look how low Jeezy waves drop of course he's going to sacrifice some but he don't want to sacrifice a lot and the average barber will probably push the clippers completely open about halfway of his taper because his vertical bars is longer see it's, it's all perception in the game and when people don't understand that about the waver that can destroy the essence of a good haircut for a waver that's clearly the difference between barber's eye and waver's eye just minor jewels keeping everything consistent and I'm just working out the side of the table with my 116th on my end as masters and remember when going in with a 116th guard or any guard you got to gradually open that clipper as you go up in that taper that's very important especially with wave of hair because you don't want to nick a wave the wrong way if you nick a wave the wrong way you're gonna force yourself to push the taper up so just remember flick in the round and don't dig but it's always easier with the masters opposed to the walls or the gold effects. I'm not saying that it's a better clipper, but what I'm saying is it's an easier fading clipper. And as you guys can see, I got broken teeth on my masters, but I told you guys, until my masters stop, they gonna always be in my lineup. They not going nowhere. We rocking out. to my channel please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to get alerted when any new videos come out the pressure won't stop it's always been around Jeezy didn't do nothing but just become a part of the collection he's finna become a part of the beam team that's what the beam team is everybody always asks me about the beam team it's not a team of people that are barbers that's not it it's about people that experience that blessing it's about people who get beamed it's about people who 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 catch that smoke that's what it's about that's that's the essence of my channel that's my name and that's the whole part of this video and i just can't wait till you guys see the ending result i just think this video was so dope and i think you guys are gonna be very proud with the ending result so i go on my 116th guard with the grain just to debulk and then i got my guard off now and i'm just flicking around and i'm just fading doing detail work trying to get the taper cleaner And I go in with my trimmers and I just basically clean up towards the bottom of the taper as well. Then I go in in the back nape area and I create my first initial guideline and Jeezy kind of indicated that he do a high taper somewhere in the clip right here and then I'm finna go up more right here. And then I just go in with my gold FX is starting off completely closed hitting the bottom of that line. And then I go completely open, about a half of an inch, giving myself more room to fade. And then I go halfway, and I'm going to blend this line completely out. completely open with my 116th guard and I'm just giving myself about an inch and the best part about the 116th guard is I'm not digging I'm giving myself an inch and I'm basically flicking at the line so I'm softening it up but I'm creating a transition so it's gonna be easier for me to fade this line out opposed to keep pushing the guideline higher and higher and remember you just gradually slowly but surely close the lever when you're towards the bottom of the taper and then you open your lever up when you're towards the top of the taper i want to 
give a huge shout out to my boy Jerm Boomin. He got this beat rocking. Like, I ain't, man. Hey, shout out, bro. Everything consistent in the back area with the 116th guard. Just cleaning up everything and then going with the grain just to soften it up more to help create the transition for the taper. And I just basically spray at the lining just so I can get the hair to lay down And then I go over the waves and I just coast and clean up I kind of want to do this first so none of the loose straggly hairs get in the way at the end after I do the lining That's a clean shot Shout out to your Fonz I go in with my Andes T outliners and I just basically hit my vertical bars. I hit my vertical bars first just to establish my dominance and my lining. Anybody out there that's struggling with lineups uh, who can't get lineups to be straight, if you start with the vertical bars first, you tend to see the front of the line automatically. It kind of draws itself. It's just a slight jewel out there for anybody that's new to my channel. Everybody that's been around know that, but anybody that's new to my channel, that's a slight jewel. Start with the vertical bars, and I promise you it's going to be so much easier to see them front linings. To anybody that's out there that's having difficult times doing straight linings, as you guys can see, I just instantly went straight across. It was that easy because it's the vertical bars that drew that front line for me. Then I go in with the Beam Team Coilless Compressor XL using the no drip color enhancement and we just go in and we basically spraying at a three to four inch radius and we just letting all of the mist of the color get into the hair that's basically being sprayed at the car. Creating the transition and creating that real clean, 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 sharp, precise look. go up behind it with hair fibers just to give it that more real fuller look because it was a wolf for a while the hairs are a little shallow because it's not completely laid he ain't went into a hard brushing session yet so the fibers gonna assist it to give it that more fuller look and then i go behind it with my andis t outliners and re-clean the lining up that is the whole part about my channel that's the whole essence of this channel is 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 is, is showing off a level of symmetry that's never been shown before i want jeezy to see his lining and and his haircut completely cut different this was not a competition thing this is something that me and him discussed at the end i was always thinking about how to outdo who cut his hair previously or or who just whoever cut his hair and it was never about that it was about jeezy sitting in my chair and me giving jeezy to get beamed experience it's about him literally giving me one of the hardest challenges period and that was to cut his hair after a four month wolf like it was no telling if he over woofed. It was no, it was no telling. It was my first time cutting a 720 crown going into a 360 cut. Uh, experiencing to do the hollow taper that I actually talked to him about. It was so much pressure in the room. It was so much anticipation for something like this. But in situations like this, you don't change what you already know. You're educated enough to know already. You don't change your steps no matter what the situation is. I don't care who the individual is in a chair how hard the haircut look you don't change the steps you gonna surprise yourself that was the best part about this remember fear is literally one of the best emotions to have whether you feel it's good whether you feel it's bad because when it play in your favor you learn something new about yourself 
you learn how not to doubt yourself that's that, that that's a part of 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 of, of self confidence boosting like that is so important embrace fear everybody want to embrace every w that they get and when they get an l they be so distraught y'all got to understand this is the grind this is what we've been working for the grind suck like everybody feel like when things is going bad that that's just what it is remember the grind is the grind if you're not struggling for success how is that a grind how is that a grind you gotta struggle before you succeed that's a whole part of the game you're gonna lose individuals that you never thought you were losing your life but you take things like that and you add that to the fire like that is your fuel that's that that's the whole point of this it's things the small things like that that shape and mold us into them gods that we always wanted to be that's not arrogant talk it's 2019 it's time to start being selfish it's time to start taking what's ours and that's not trying to be arrogant i'm talking about for everybody that's out there everybody that's out there that's grinding like it's okay to flex it's okay to feel that like it's okay to embrace when you up but you gotta embrace when you down as well and that's just bars that's for anybody that's out there anybody that's coming up in the game like you can't give up if you got a passion if this is something that you love you can't give up that's a part of the grind Embrace the male. So we go with that tune 45 triple cartridge raising. I'm basically stretching the skin, angling my razor at a 45 degree angle, bringing everything back to the line. Consistent light strokes. I'm not scraping against the skin. Let's see what Jeezy think. Let me know what I did, man. Mm. Let me know what I did. Crispy. Tell me about the taper. You got the taper is important taper is to me, nice. bro. It's important to me because the taper is nice. I felt like I had to overwork that because you made me lift it and it was down here. Right. You made me nah, lift this it. And I had to be comfortable in this area because it's like you almost got to fade individual sections between the waves instead of on top of the waves. Right. Right. So yeah, and I'm gonna get another mirror to see if you can act if I can mirror. It. Bring it down lower and screw it over to the left. This way. Yeah. Yep. We in there. We in there. Okay. You really got a 1.5 though? Yeah, 1.5. Yeah.